Harry and Meghan may get coronation cold shoulder as royals hope pair seated in Iceland. Prince Harry and Meghan are expected to attend King Charles' coronation at Westminster Abbey on May 6, but royal sources claim some family members will give them a frosty reception. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle could receive the cold shoulder treatment at King Charles' coronation service with members of the royal family reportedly hoping they will be seated in Iceland. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are now expected to be at the grand event on May 6, the same date as Archie's birthday, um, having been invited by Harry and strange father Charles. But it was reported the other night that many members of the firm are privately telling friends they will give the couple the cold shoulder. Harry and Meg fled the royal family in 2020 when they stepped back from official duties they have since made a series of bombshell allegations about royal life and accusations against the royals in interviews and also TV shows, deepening the rift between the pair and Harry's family. But the Montecito, California based couple, who this week saw their young children, Ashley and Lilibet, granted prince and princess titles, are expected to make the trip for the king's coronation at Westminster Abbey. But it is reported many members of the firm have no desire to socialize with the Netflix stars. A source described as friend of the family by the mail told the paper that they will be given a cold shoulder by every, many, many relatives of the royal family. One said to me, I hope they will be seated in Iceland. Many of the family just want nothing more to do with them. If they have to see them at a coronation, then so be it. But they do not want to socialize with them. It is understood that the Sussexes will not be invited to join with the traditional royal family balcony appearance as the new king and the working royals greet well wishes. There is thought to be ongoing discussions about which other events the Duke and Duchess may or may not attend or take part in during that coronation celebrations. Harry and Meghan's children Ashi, who turns four on that day of the coronation, and 21 month old Lilibet are thought by palace chiefs to be too young to attend. The family is expected to stay at Frogmore Cottage for the duration of the stay, enjoying Ash's birthday before the ceremony. They have been evicted from Frogmore by Charles, who is understood to have offered it to Prince Andrew, but the Duke of York said to be refusing to move from his lavish 30-bedroom royal lodge in the shadow of Windsor Castle. The king is insisting on budget cuts on royal finances and would have would leave Andrew, 63 years old, unable to pay for the mansion's upkeep. The king has given Harry and Meghan until after the coronation in May to clear their belongings from Frogmore Cottage. Earlier this month, a source close to the royal couple claimed they are okay with the king's decision and feel that if we need to move out, we will get ourselves out. Despite previous reports, the news came as a shock and a crushing blow to them. Megan's journalist pal Omid Kobe, author of the Megan and Harry biography, Finding Freedom, this month claimed notice of the eviction was a crushing blow. However, a source close to the couple denied that they, are, they were stunned speaking to the Times newspaper. They told the paper, it is what it is, they are not fighting it, they realize that they have a home in California, they have a roof over their heads, they are very privileged to have a second um, residents, it is not going to work out for them there, and that's okay. The lease on Frogmore Cottage on the Windsor Estate runs out at the end of March, but Charles is giving them a few months to remove belongings and transfer them to California ASAP.